Yeah! And we're live! Uh. Um, hello, everyone. Happy Halloween. <laughs> I may be Carsey, and I may be Ruthie from Ozark. It's hard to tell, except that my hair didn't turn blonde when I tried to bleach it. Um, here we have Cat Firth on the keys, and of course, Skunk the Dog on the bass, as always. Uh, pleasure to be here with you today. I hope you guys are having a good Halloween. I hope you're eating candy and wearing dumb clothes. That's what it's all about. Uh, you ready, Cat Firth? Hell yeah. One, two, three. Thank you. Uh, yeah. How's it, how's it looking? How's it sounding? We got any, any word from the uh, team? Everything's good. Oh, great. Guys, sweet. Uh, Cat Firth, if you want to behead yourself, I would understand. I don't think anyone... <laughs> it was Pat? Yeah. No way. It's not, it's, it's, it's He's a man. <laughs> um, I feel I have to explain my costume slightly because it's a bit of an inside joke with ourselves. So, um, apparently I look a lot like an actress named Julia Garner. Um, she's on a show called Ozark. I've never watched the show because I can't watch any violent TV or I have terrible nightmares. So, I also haven't watched Game of Thrones, in, in case you're wondering. The news. Um, <laughs> I don't watch the news anymore for the last whole, whole of my life. Um, <laughs> anyway, I look like this actress, and when, when I did that John Prime song a few months ago and it went viral and there were a lot of new people on my page... I got literally like a hundred comments a day that were like, I love you on Ozark. I didn't know you also could sing. And it took me like a couple of days to even understand what was going on. So I thought it would be fun to bleach my hair blonde and dress like the character in Ozark, whose name apparently is Ruthie. She wears a lot of flannel. Uh, but then my hair didn't turn blonde because I think I've treated it too many times. So it turned sort of an orangish pink. So you'll have to use your imagination. Anyway, um, 
because it's Halloween and there's just plenty of spookiness all ready to go around in the world, uh, including what might happen on Tuesday, I thought we would keep this set really light and positive. So we're going to do a lot of partying in this set. And I hope you are at home partying with us. <clears throat> There's a new one called Be Good. One. So that, that tune is a new one, and it's on our new album, which we just finished recording. Um, and what I want to say about that is, can I take my guitar? Okay, one second. Yes. Oh, wait, I need this. Never mind. Ha! What I want to say about that is uh, we have a new album, and it's partially mixed, um, which means we, don't, we can't put it online any, anywhere. But um, what we decided to do is we're having an after party today after this very party that you are at. Um, and it's for patrons, and it's on Zoom. And on that after party, we're going to play some of the tracks from our new record, which is crazy because they're fresh. Like, we just got these mixes, like, two days ago. And we're going to share them with you guys, but not in a way that you can, like, bootleg them and put them on Facebook and make it crazy or Napster, or whatever the kids use these days. We yes, hope. It's, it's, it's <laughs> Napster. It's yeah. <laughs> I just checked with the kids. <laughs> <laughs> the kids I've asked it's the kids, right yes. Um Oh, yeah, and so the after party is for patrons, but it's also for, glad you ask, people that start a watch party on Facebook right now or in the next, what is it, 15 minutes? If you start a watch party on Facebook in the next 15 minutes, you can also come to the after party and hear the new songs from the new album. Uh, it starts at 6 p.m. Eastern today. It starts in three hours. 
Um, and the way you do a watch party, crap, I didn't write it down this time. Maybe John will put the, uh, the instructions for doing a watch party right there in the banner. He might. Oh, what a good husband. Uh, let's do hot mic. Yep. It's a hot night and I don't feel like sleeping I got too much commotion running around my mind Some kind of second sight See the meaning of everything With the fever of the free and the easy in the summertime Ain't nobody gonna give it to you You got to steal it Ain't nobody gonna live it for you Hear the men coming down the street Picking up the trash And it sounds like a fist fight Like a squalid existence But they're singing in the dawn and day Like nobody asked Ain't nobody gonna give it to you You got to steal it Ain't nobody gonna live it for you So you better feel it notes oh thank you grace oh this is patrons oh thanks okay there's new patrons since the last time we did this and i want to give them shout outs we have sheila janet rachel sharla aaron vera robbie emily and daphne yeah yeah <laughs> pretty weak but you get the idea <laughs> thanks for being patrons is our point um <laughs> Uh, let's see, why are we here, you might ask. Well, multiple reasons. What happened is we, we used to be a band that would tour, which is a thing that would happen uh, in the old days. Uh, for the kids out there, you may not know. It used to be that musicians would get an act together that they could do on a stage, and then you would travel around to different places in the world that had stages, and you would do the act on that stage, and people from that town would come see it. It was awesome. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't happen anymore. So instead of that, um, also that's how we used to get paid money. So now we don't do that and we also don't have money. Um, so <laughs> instead, each month we do a live stream and it's a rent party and it is to pay Pat's and Joe's rents uh, and skunks and the cats, actually. The cats, yeah. all, all of the whole family. 
um, and Grace is our lovely assistant. So we're all here to um, pay the rent for the band because the band doesn't get paid for doing shows because shows don't exist anymore. Nope. Oh. Anyway, um, if you'd like to donate, you can probably see how to do it. It's in all the various descriptions. There's a Venmo. There's a PayPal. There's a Cash App. And then, of course, there's Patreon, which is how I get my rent paid um, and also how you get to see the after party. So now you know. And now we're here, and now we can play more songs. Oh, and we've raised 420. Whoa. Whoa. Yo. Not our drug of choice. We're going to have to raise more than that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a song called Vim and Vigor. <laughs> Police code. The police code yeah. six thousand. Yeah. It's like really rare. You don't see it yeah. often, but that's our vice. One, two, three. <laughs> to do a watch party okay <laughs> from your timeline create a new post click the three dots and then click watch party search for costume party at the end of the world and this video and that's how you share it yes please do a watch party that's um facebook is a crazy world where like 
the the people who develop it the i was about to say dudes and then i was like don't say dudes i was like actually it is dudes the dudes who develop facebook uh also decide what kinds of content everybody gets to see so they used to be like oh we want everyone to use facebook live so we should really push these videos and make sure people see them and then they were like actually now there's a pandemic too many people are doing facebook live so we saw our views go way down so the point of the watch party is to share it with your friends so more people get to see eyeballs on us and send us money for rent and hang out with us and feel better. That is the point. And um, if you do the watch party and you comment that you did it, then we will make sure you get a link to come to the after party if you want to and hear our new songs. Such as this one we're about to play. Hey, great segue. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, this is another one that is like a feel good number. I, um, I don't live in New Orleans now, but before the pandemic, I lived in New Orleans and I used to go to church sometimes, um, just like a little tiny, little tiny, like 20 people in the congregation church. And they would sing songs. And they also did a thing that I really loved, which is in the middle of the service, everybody would hug and say, there's greatness inside of you. And it always made me cry, <laughs> partly because I would go with my little goddaughter who was like two when we started going. And so she'd give me a hug and go, there's greatness in you. And I was like, that is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah. So that was part of what inspired the song. <laughs> Christine, welcome. <laughs> we hope to see you at the after party. Yeah, so we're keeping it we're keeping it positive. We're keeping it fun. We're keeping it freaky and fresh and etc. Uh, I'm not going to talk. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. 
A lot of people have been saying that I shouldn't talk politics as much. They're like, oh, I love your music, but politics, politics. So today I'm not going to talk politics as much. <sighs> anyway. How's that drink? <laughs> it's delicious. Let's play Harbor. <laughs> Uh, I do want to say, though, that this is a scary time to be a human being uh, in general. Pandemic, you know, global warming, etc. election coming up. I guess I'm talking politics. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> but this is a song about how it's okay to be scared, really, is what it's about. You just go forth. You sally forth through the fear. It's not that bad. Or it is. Either way, you do it. It isn't safe out here, it's perfectly clear I should have known it was a big mistake I could have stayed at home, not answered the phone And never given you my heart to break But lovers run to ruin, soldiers run to war Ships are safe in the harbor but it ain't what ships are for Hearts are made for breaking You were made for me So batten down the hatches, honey We'll sail away to sea We had a lot to learn Courage to burn We were the cutest little fools in town an awful mess but you were the best and I was trying not to let you down but lovers run to ruin soldiers run to war ships are safe in harbor but that ain't what ships are for love is for the Everybody good? I have to do this and then this. I'm gonna take this off for a second. Um, what was I gonna say? Hey, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Pretty soon, I'm gonna do a, a few songs solo, which is gonna require a little bit of resetting the stage. And while we do that, we're gonna also conduct our costume contest. So if you're not in costume yet, you should get in costume. And if you haven't taken a picture of yourself yet, you should really, you should work on that. You know, you should figure out the right background, get your lighting set up, etc. Because the winners of this costume contest will get a, what do we end up calling it? A spooky bag of merch. We're going to send you some stuff in the mail. That's all. Uh, there's going to be three winners and Grace gets to decide. She's the decider. She's got a great costume on. I'm sorry you can't see it. Sort of a mod 60s thing with the big winged line. She looks great. Uh, anyway. This song's called Mustache. 
Moustache. <clears throat> Just a second. Parched. Uh, mm. set of the stage here okay well well we're getting our lives together so that i can do a few acoustic songs for you um you guys can get your lives together by dropping your costume pictures in the comments yeah cat firth uh also wants you to do that <laughs> cat firth is not eligible because of the judges are they've recused themselves um <laughs> uh can we get a skunk pick too while oh, we do yeah. this i don't know who wants to be in charge of that um, it's just going to just show you what it looks like to have a good costume. <laughs> Skunk would like to demonstrate. Uh, oh, look, hottie. What a little hottie. Oh, he's so hot. <laughs> you are really cute. More cute than hot, but I kind of, it's Halloween, you know, take it there. Anyway. Skunk ear hair. Um, <laughs> so drop your costume picture in the comments, and um, Grace is going to examine them while I do this little acoustic set. And at the end of it, we will know who the winners are. There's going to be three winners. They're going to get free stuff. I don't know how to use this chair. There it is. I'm going to get out of here. You probably should. Probably better if you do. Bye. Bye. And this is all tangled up. Oh, gosh. There we go. Oh, I need this too. <laughs> yes. And I'll scoot this way. Yep, yep. We've done this all. We actually really gamed this one out. We set up for this live stream ye starting yesterday morning because we've learned our lesson. It never goes the way it went last time with the tech. Thank you, Pat. Sweet. Um, hi guys. How you 
been, you know? It's been a crazy month. I heard a I heard a podcast recently, I think it was a radio lab, where some guy like invented a, a robot or whatever that can read all of Twitter. And when it reads all of Twitter, it comes up with a happiness quotient. So it decides how happy everyone in the world is, according to Twitter. And apparently March broke the previous record. Like they've been testing since Twitter started. March broke the previous record in unhappiness. But then August broke that record. And then September broke that record. And October is on track to be the unhappiest month since 2008 when Twitter began. <laughs> So I'm just saying this not to bum you out, but quite the opposite. I've been pretty bummed out, and it's when you're bummed out, you often will be like, I'm all alone in my bummed outness. Nobody feels the way I feel. That is just not the case. We all, it's a weird time to be a person, as I think I've mentioned pretty often. <laughs> but, you know, there's things that make us feel better. Music is one of those. Music is actually one of the words in the Twitter algorithm that tells you that people are happier. So the more the word music occurs, they're like, that means people are more happy because they're hearing more music. So speaking of music, one of my favorite musicians of all time, as many of you know, um, is the late, great John Prine. I'm going to do one of his. I've been thinking lately about the people I like meet. Car wash on the corner and the hole in the street Where my ankles hurt with shoes on my feet And I wonder if I'm gonna see tomorrow Father forgive us for what we must do You forgive us, we'll forgive you We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven Used to bust my knuckles on a monkey wrench Go to town and drink, give the girls a pinch But I don't think they ever really notice me Father, forgive us for what we must do You forgive us, we'll forgive you We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven Fish and whistle, whistle and fish Eat everything that they put on your dish When we get through, we'll all make a wish That we never had to do this again Yeah All my very first job said thank you and please It made me wash a parking lot down on my knees Then I got fired for being scared of bees And they only gave me 50 cents an hour <laughs> So gets me. Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us and we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. We'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've literally known that song since I was three and it still cracks me up. And they only give me 50 cents an hour. That's a genius punchline right there. Dang. All right, um, I guess I haven't mentioned in a while that the, the point of the rent party is to make rent for Joe and Pat, and I, I feel it's more fun to talk about when it's just me on stage and not them on stage here in the shed. Um, I really, really love those guys, and I really value them. It's still kind of awkward because Pat's in the room, but at least you can't see him. Um, I really love them and value them, and they're both really, honestly, world-class musicians, and I've always felt very blessed that they play music with me. Joe's been in my band for 11 years. Pat's been in my band for six years. And we used to just be cobbling it together on shoestring tours all over the world. So it's not or all over the country mostly. Occasionally we got to go to Europe. So uh, it's not like we were ever making big bucks. But um, when the pandemic hit, uh, I just felt a real sense of, of like camaraderie and like we are family together. We're already family in this band. And so it was important to me to find a way to support those guys. So um, if you have money to spare, uh, please pitch some in. Um, these guys have studied music for just so many hours, it would blow your mind. They're much more credentialed than I am. <laughs> um, so uh, throw some money our way. And I also want to mention that if you don't have any money because you're also unemployed, then don't throw any money our way. Um, that Even though that's officially why we're doing this, we're also doing this because we just love playing together and we love having people to play for. So thanks for listening. <sighs> All right. 
I'm going to do a new one of mine. And this one is also on the uh, the new record, which we're going to play a bit of today. Come on, Andrew. You missed the mushy stuff, I'm happy to say. <laughs> um, this song is from my husband, John, who is also helping uh, with the... Uh-oh, can't share... <laughs> He's the one writing those banners, actually. Uh-oh, can't share pics and comments. Whoa. All right. You're going to have to... How can you not share pics and comments? That is just crazy. All right, you have to email me now. Grace will check my email in some way, and she'll still determine who the winner is. Sorry about that, guys. This is how we learn. <clears throat> you got a love that keeps me warm. Slow rolling like a thunderstorm, low humming like a summer night. You got a love that treats me right. Got lucky running into you, half grown and only 22. Back when I was the running kind, you had a love to ease my mind. And the world burns on below. But how sweet the world could be If every heart could know The mercy that you show to me got a love that knows the way slow falling like a snowy day soft glowing like a winter night you got a love that shines a light how crazy after all these years you still be moving me to tears so happy just to lie me down beside a love that sticks around and the world burns on below but how sweet the world could be if every heart could know the mercy that you show playing a show for you guys I, ne I never get to play for you guys no. this is like when i go to joe's jazz gigs and watch him play with other people i'm like yeah it's a good bass player you oh. guys hear this guy he sounds good i just bought this new snark and i'm trying to use it and i can't turn it on there we go <laughs> and i also can't see what it says at all come on snark not gonna deal with that <laughs> not worth one more song all right speaking of mushy stuff um i think it's time to do the song i wrote for john prime <sighs> what more to say about this guy i mean i played his song you could see how much i love him he just he did songwriting as good as anybody ever has done songwriting and he also just seemed to be like a really truly kind and gentle-hearted person and and um Having gotten to like interact a tiny bit with the people at his record label now and with, with his family, because I made that song and they shared it and it was like, wow, that's so cool. Um, they also seemed to think that he was an incredibly kind and sweet person. And it's always heartening to find out that a musician you really love and respect is in fact also a good human being. That's always like, woo, <laughs> great news. So um, that's really cool. Um, this one goes like... Yeah. 
ustedes. Hey John Pride, thanks for the tunes, they were sweet as peaches, crazy as loons, you were showing us how to be good to each other. Smart ass, smiling, aimless lover, but it's rough down here since we got the news. Might take a miracle to cure these blues. Everybody been crying like a little girl in the whole wide, big old goofy world. Tonight, heaven is a happier place. They were all sick of singing Amazing Grace. And now it's fish and whistle. Lean on me. Everybody singing in harmony. Tonight in heaven, it must be nice. They're all eating peaches in paradise. All of them angels lining up in a queue. Just to go fishing with you. Just to go fishing with you. Hey John Pride, just one more thing, you're the one who made us all wanna sing. You made it look so easy and sound so fun. We'll sing a little sweeter now that you're all done. <laughs> Please tell Petty we've been breaking down since. Merle and Bowie and Leonard and Prince, you got a pretty good band up there, I guess. We all wish you all the best. Tonight, heaven is a happy place. They were all sick of singing Amazing Grace. And now it's fish and whistle. Lean on me. Everybody singing in harmony. Tonight in heaven, it must be nice. They're all eating peaches in paradise. All of them angels lining up in a queue. Just to go fishing with you. Just to go fishing with you. Just a go fishing with Jesus and Petty and you. Yeah. Doesn't that sound fun to go fishing with Jesus and Tom Petty and John Prine? I just really think it does. I would absolutely do that if anyone asks. All right, folks. Gosh, what a time. I'm just really quick looking at the comments while we do the reset here. If I can figure out how to fold this chair, <coughs> which I cannot. This, okay, back up. Yeah! Powerful. I'm woman, hear me roar. Okay. Any comments I should know about this? <coughs> I just want to say, I know what I want to say, um, thank you to Grace for moderating and to John for moderating and to Nat Kleinschmidt. Um, Nat is my manager, so if you see her saying things, um, believe her, she's right. That's what I've learned. <laughs> if Nat says something, it's probably true. You're going to have to just, you're going to have to come to terms with that being true. All right. Did you explode something? No, 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 sorry. I was oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, the headphones and the guitar strap are all, and then this. Oh, good. Pat, uh, Cat Firth is going to play <coughs> piano now. Isn't that exciting? I'm going to move this so that we can both, we can all be in the frame. Joe, should I come on this side now? Yeah, uh, I should do that. Let's do that. Sure. How about you? Switch sides. I don't care. Why not? You know what the sign says. It says Carol Blanton. <laughs> Carol. Uh, cool. <coughs> Sweet, we're going to play some uh, more songs. Wow! <laughs> Money, that's right. We're up to 1615 of 3250. That means we're halfway there, doesn't it? Basically. <laughs> yeah, thanks guys. So happy to be just hanging out with you today. Instead of just sitting around eating bread one more time, you know? <laughs> we'll do it again, but we'll wait till tomorrow. Wow. face that nobody likes to see nobody but me he got a thing or two to learn about love he acts like he ain't never heard of romance so i will give him a chance my baby can dance my baby can dance my baby can swing my baby can, swing. My baby can shake me slow so i Yes. <laughs> 
sort of a, a little jazzy set we're doing here. Wow. Getting jazzy. <clears throat> uh, this song, okay, yeah. So, so uh, great. We're raising money still. That's amazing. <laughs> I can't believe it, you know? Month eight, still money. It just, it blows my mind every time. Thank you guys so much. Um, hi, Todd. You're a patron. Yay, Todd. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, yes, we're gonna do a song now called Fat and Happy, and, um, I just wanted to relate it to a thing that keeps happening, which is, so I was joking about not talking about politics, I would never not talk about politics, don't worry, um, but I do get that a lot lately, and it's mostly trolls on Facebook, I don't know if they're even happening in the comments, sometimes they do, people will be like, stick to music, don't talk about politics, and I'm like, clearly you don't listen to lyrics, because <laughs> I have never, I have never even considered not singing about politics, and I will not begin considering it now. That would be insane. Uh, it's the world, and we live in it, and sometimes we have to talk about it and sing about it. That's what I want to say about that. But speaking of internet trolls, I wrote this song for an internet troll, because I didn't know how to react, because people were like, oh, just ignore it. Who cares? Just turn the other cheek. And I was like, nah. <laughs> it would be more fun to write this song. <clears throat> when I'm fat and happy and high on the hog, will you still be moaning like a three-legged dog will you still be lying like a bump on a log when i'm fat and happy and high on the hog na -na 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 -na. when i'm fat and happy and rich as a roo will you know of anything better to do or will you still be crying because you haven't a clue why i'm Fat and happy and rich as a rule. I heard lately you were talking trash. I guess you wanted somebody to bash. I say you better try to make amends, cause your words may be bitter when you eat them again. When I'm fat and happy and fitting it big, will you still be whining like a suckling pig? Or will you?
trash I guess you wanted somebody to bash I say you better go and drink your gin Cause your words may be bitter when you eat them again When I'm fat and happy and famous as fuck Will you still be honking like a Canada duck? Or will you be crying cause you shit out of luck? Yeah. Beautiful. Just beautiful. beautiful. Melodious tones. Dulcet tones. <laughs> Will you guys just do the um, cussing part of that mm -hmm. so they can really hear it? I'm going to turn you up. Uh, when I'm fat and happy and famous as fuck, Sorry. will you still be honking like a Canada duck? Or will you be crying cause you shit out of luck? Shit. When I'm fat and happy, Just really wanted you to appreciate the time and energy that went into making that part what it is. <laughs> All right, um, <clears throat> we're gonna do a Duke Ellington tune now. Uh, this is on a record uh, that I did a few years ago called Not Old, Not New, uh, which was a bunch of covers that I thought were pretty. And this one is very pretty. Um, and it's also about uh, Louisiana, which just got hit with a hurricane. And we are sad about that, but we're also happy it didn't get hit worse. So love to all my people down there. Was such a fine spring day down Louisiana way with fragrance divine and such magnificent regalia so fine as Can't help but believe that nothing evil can assail you so sweet as you're on the knees of the most covered trees whose tops meet to make a high ceiling in the church-like pomp of a cypress swamp I've yet to get that same strange feeling I'm gonna go back there and find Blossom fair, I always dream of. Cause with you, who could be a failure? My first love, Azalea. Take a cat.
mustn't fail I always dream of Cause with you who could be a failure My first love how that happens time flies when you're having fun um let us do let's go ahead and, and skip ahead one actually let's do jacket we'll, we'll circle back <sighs> oh the headphones and the guitar strap it never ends <laughs> you should i just go here maybe oh no this oh, is good this is good i'll go to the other side we're really getting <laughs> We're getting a lot more agility in our live stream setup, as I think you can probably tell. And that's partly because we're out here in this the shed in Joe and Grace and Skunk's backyard, which we painstakingly built with our own two hands earlier in the pandemic. It's since <laughs> April. It's since April, that's right. Yeah. It was a garage, a concrete garage, and now it's like, it's beautiful. <laughs> Look at it. We hung all this drywall. That's why you can see the seams. I don't know if you can on them. You probably can't from there. They looks great. We did a perfect job. <laughs> um, sweet. So uh, this one's a little dirty. <coughs> That's another way to, to have a fun time. <sighs> you when I whack it. It doesn't hurt. Ain't nothing to it. Call me when you had enough of thinking, honey. Let's do it. Get your phone, get your phone. Perry and Jim. <laughs> Perry and Jim. <laughs> Jim, 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 Jim. Cool. Thanks, Perry and Jim. Oh, and we're up to 2125. Wow! Oh, guys, we're in spinning distance here. We got a grand to go. Um, yes. 
Oh, we're, you guys are in the picture now. <laughs> um, we got a grand to go to make these guys' rent for the eight, eighth month in a row, which just warms our little hearts to such a, such a degree. I can't even tell you. Um, I don't know if you guys know a lot of musicians, but we know a lot of musicians, and uh, most of them are in some pretty dire straits right now. Um, and a lot of other people. There's like 30 million or 20 million or something unemployed workers right now because of the pandemic. It's crazy out there. So um, it's crazy for everybody. And what we really, truly want is for Congress to get off its lazy ass. It's lazy fucking, what's the, th like, what's the thing where they're, oh, obstructionist ass and pass some new stimulus because the pandemic isn't over yet. I don't know if you know that. Um, so a lot of our work hasn't come back. So we really hope they pass new stimulus and we all get new unemployment money. But until then, um, we're just really happy that you guys are here with us and for us and sending us money. And um, thank you. That's in conclusion. Thank you. <coughs> uh, we're going to do another one from the new record. And actually, this is one of the ones that I think we'll play for you if you're at the after party um, for patrons and or people that did a watch party, maybe even if. Maybe even if you're uh, if you win the costume party, you can also come to the after party. We'll send you guys some links. It's gonna be on Zoom. We're gonna play the new record, including this one. <coughs> Pat, I'm trying not to block your face. There we go. <laughs> trying not to be a destructionist. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Been workshopping that joke for a while. <laughs> So there ain't no way around it now All our kisses are a sign Saying this'll be the last time and If I had a thousand years of kissing you It might not be enough Honey, don't turn out the light Let me try tonight To give you all my love Now the moon is coming out So there isn't any doubt Now With your body touching mine And your eyes are full of moonshine But if I had a thousand years to look at you It might not be enough Honey, don't turn out the light Let me try tonight had the skunk head on for that one really added the little zhuzh um, <laughs> uh, i want to mention a thing about that um 
I really liked singing that song because um, when I am feeling bummed out, like all of Twitter has been this whole year, um, <laughs> as I mentioned earlier, um, it can feel like there's no point. You know, are you familiar with this feeling? There's no point in fighting. It's all a foregone conclusion and everything is doomed. You, you ever had that one? Anybody? Never. I, <laughs> um, I get that one fairly often. Um, and what I find is that I can't really talk myself out of it by being like, no, actually, everything's OK. I know it looks bad, but really, it's fine. That doesn't work for me. Um, I'm a, more of an evidence and data driven person than that. But what does work for me is trying anyway. <laughs> so um, I'm a big fan of like, go to the protest, vote, uh, phone bank, fucking organize your community, join a union, do all the stuff just in case it might work. And also because it is a good mental health practice to have hope and keep investing in the hope. So um, I'm a fan of that. And I think that's kind of what that last song is about. Don't give up the fight. Shine your little light, okay? So I'm saying that because on election day, I'm gonna be managing my anxiety by playing songs for uh, Center for Popular Democracy, which is gonna be phone banking and text banking all day to make sure that people get to the polls. Um, so they have like a registry of people who have already said, I'm gonna vote. And then what they do is all day, they have volunteers all over the country just being like, have you voted? Do you need a ride? Do you need money to get an Uber? Can we get you, what can we do for you here? So um, I'm going to play some songs of hope for those people, and I'm also going to phone bank with them. Um, and I just want to invite you to join me if you also don't know what to do with all your anxiety on Election Day. It's just it's good to have a project. <laughs> so um, maybe we'll throw up a link for that. Um, I forgot to send it to you, John. But um, <laughs> uh, if you look back in my – this is for John, not for you guys. If you look back in my Facebook posts, there's like three ago, there's a link to this thing. You can sign up, and they'll send you a reminder to phone bank with them. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just getting my life together here. I'm new. Okay, and with that, we're gonna do a song called Backbone. Ugh. <laughs> John says, ugh. sweet like sugar wrapped in butter and I don't mind your company but if you want to make me sing keep in mind that I am not your mother show me something I can rely on or I would rather be alone you give Show me what you made of
still it really isn't something we need to debate you say you're gonna please me but i don't see how you will when you can't even stand up straight to bite our consonants in this band. That's something I appreciate. <laughs> I was just thinking about the end of Fat and Happy where we're like, and I on the hog. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> the song is not over until you've really bitten off the end of that last consonant. <laughs> Bone. Tell him, you know? Huh. Like, we, like we mean it. <laughs> exactly. All right. This is going again. <sighs> <clears throat> hey John, what what monies are we up to? Well, if you're up here for that, just use my. Oh, he'll probably know. Oh, we got some fun ones in store for you here, folks. We are up to twenty four fifty of thirty two fifty. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, and our matching grant just kicked in. Woo! This is just we are just. It's all downhill from here. Um. So what do we have? We have. Oh yeah, from here to the goal, donations will be doubled. So if you've been waiting to donate and you want to donate, all of your monies are worth twice as many monies. And um, so yeah, we like twice as many monies. <laughs> and thanks to the people who offered the matching grants. That's always a really great way to support this crazy thing that we do every month. Um, so do. If you want to do it next month, you can email me. Gosh, thanks guys, you rule. All right, we're going to do a cover tune. See if you can see if you can spot what it is. Cheers. Say it's better. 
better, but I say it ain't. I'd rather laugh with the sinners than cry with the saints. The sinners are much more fun. <laughs> and only the good die young. Only the good die young. She never cared for me, but did she ever say a prayer for me? No, no, no. So come on, Virginia, and don't make me wait. Catholic girls start much too late. Sooner or later, it comes down to fate. So I might as well be the one. Ha! Only the good die young. Only the good die young. That song's by Billy Joel. I didn't write it. Sorry to disappoint you. I know you all thought that was an original. What? <laughs> you didn't write that? Liz is a patron. Hello, Liz. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Liz is a patron and good. The matching grant has kicked in. We're just climbing. We're climbing towards rent being paid again. It's crazy out here. Woo. All right, that wasn't an original, but this is an original. And I also really like this one, if I'm honest. I'll be real with you. Oh. <clears throat> one, two. Walking through the city feeling so ferocious, I could take anyone. to go folks and it's doubled so really 200 to go i think that's how this works um again math not my thing but here we are thank you thank you cheers everybody lift up your drink i hope your koozie is as cool as grace's which i've been borrowing <laughs>
Cheers! Cheers. Fuck you, Trump, you fucking fuck. That's just how that's just how we cheers now. Okay. <laughs> okay, we gotta all If you have a hankering for me cussing at the president, by the way, you are in luck, because we're gonna wrap this set up later with just a real doozy that you haven't even heard on our live stream yet. And it just it's gonna get so much better. Oh my gosh. Alright, but right now though, we're <laughs> We're gonna do a song called The Animal I Am, and that is why everyone is uh, morphing into their anamorph version of themselves. Yeah. We are not furries. <laughs> <laughs> the truth about the Carsey Blanton band finally comes out. <laughs> why do they always seem to be having so much fun? Well, <laughs> one, two, three. you Good don't thing. we don't know what kind of animal i am so. <laughs> beautiful oh 31 25 you guys we, did, we were about to do it we're about to do it we're so close oh my gosh we're oh my gosh so we're like 125 dollars away from making rent yet again Yo, nice. it's a miracle pew 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 thank you we love ah, you gobble, gobble. <laughs> And other celebratory noises. Um, <laughs> cool, guys. Wow. What, what are we up to? We got a half an hour left. We got some songs. Oh, we're gonna do a new one. We're gonna do a new, new, new one that um, we haven't haven't yet done on this live stream, but it is on the new album, and you will hear it at the after party if you're at the after party. If you're not coming to the after party, you really should. It's gonna be awesome, and you can still become a patron and come to it. With that. Let's play it. Does anyone know what the tempo is? <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Hmm. A one, two, three. Sure. 
Oh yeah. I like it. Did you do it just for a laugh? Breaking my poor heart in half. Honey, cause I've been shaking, love's been making a fool of me. Did you do it just for fun? Telling me that I'm the one. Honey, if you weren't faking, love's been making a fool of you too. Cause we know the score, and we want it even more. Oh, why I gotta fall so far, when I know he's gonna break my heart. Mama, why am I always suffering fools? Tell me why we had to fall so fast, when we know it isn't meant to last. Honey, we're just a couple of suffering fools. Couple of suffering fools. Mm. Not when it was just one night. Why did it have to feel so right? Honey, why am I crying? Love's been lying to both of us. Knowing that I had to go. Why'd you have to kiss me slow? gonna last are you kidding me uh, is it over yet are we there uh, yet people are so nice thank you <laughs> yeah guys <laughs> you're really making this thing worth it or whatever mm. wait no <laughs> i take that back you're really <laughs> you're really making our personal experiences of the pandemic tolerable that's what i meant to say <laughs> thank you yeah 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 um yeah what uh, yeah another new song too so i said i was like i was like oh we're only gonna keep it positive and do positive songs and not do all the bummers but i really want to do this one it's because it's not a bummer it is a rallying cry of a song um it has a lot of cussing in it and um it allows you to yell at nazis and i know that when you don't yell at nazis for for too long it can really get bottled up and kind of become malignant inside you so um let's all take this moment to yell at nazis together that's what i think this one's called Shit List. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah. You come in at the top of my shit list. Even though you look a little punk rock. You talk real loud, but you're totally witless. I think we had enough of you and your talk. So your life ain't the dream that you thought it would be. So you cry and you scream like a cat in a tree. Well, you want a medal just for being a white boy. That ain't the way we do it no more. That ain't the way we do it no more. Thought we were rid of you back in 40. 
55 And baby Jesus won't save your soul He said you better leave your neighbor alive So your life ain't a dream that you think you deserve And the kids on the street really get on your nerves You want a medal just for being a white boy That ain't the way we do it no more kitchen ha well that ain't the way we do it no more that ain't the way we do it no more you got away with this shit before that ain't the way we're gonna do it no more that ain't the way we're gonna do it no more no oh. so you say we should go back where we came from thinking maybe that you should as well put your money where your mealy little mouth is and go right back to hell that's right that is that is what we said and we meant it too everybody just sing that to yourselves on the way to the polls it'll keep you in a good mood <laughs> Hey, did you guys vote, by the way? Did yes. everybody vote uh, about it? Election day. You're doing a real poll. Cere ceremonial. Ceremonial, yeah. voting. ceremonial voting. Nice. And you? Uh, you handed in my ballot. Oh, that's right. Post office. We voted together. Um, yeah, with the post office, our good, our friend and ally. Uh, cool. Well, hey, here's another here's another good voting song, actually. Oh, we have too much time left. Let's do like let's do like oh, I know what we should do. Is party at the end of the world. Is that depressing? Hmm. We nah. said we wouldn't. No. I think it's good because this is called the costume party at the end of the world, so let's enjoy the catharsis of this one. This is also one we'll, we'll play you at the after party. <clears throat> the after party at the end of the world. <laughs> one, two, three.
whether that's a depressing song or not. It is about a party. And it's really fun to sing, so I don't feel depressed when I sing it. Anyway, I hope it didn't depress you. But, uh, hey, let's lighten it back up. Uh, this, this song is, um, it's the newest song on the new record. I wrote this in June. And, um, it's called Down in the Streets Tonight. And, uh, I, one thing I like about it is that it sort of, it starts in the same place as Party of the End of the World. It starts like, wow, everything's really fucked up, and then it takes it to a place of hope and celebration and rallying. So, that's, that is what I am looking to do Production. for myself Production. and everyone else. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Mama, it's a disaster Going faster and faster The song's not done until you've done that. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah, babies, guys. I'm just. This is so. This is fun. I like. It. I like music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what? Fun. You know what? I like it. How about yeah? Hey, you know what? Sure, it's a fun thing to do. Oh, what a good job. Still a really good job. You know, I've never appreciated what a good job it was so much until we lost all our gigs, and I was like, that was a really cool job. <laughs> That was a really cool job I see whizzing past my ears into another dimension. <laughs> uh, but this is a really cool job, too. We're still just doing interesting things with air, and then you guys like it. And then you pay us some money, and it's it's all really great. And we're really grateful. Oh, we have a, we have a thing. <gasps> Costume contest! I forgot! <laughs> you guys, okay, Whoa. thank you, Grace. This is a paragraph. Oh, I'm glad you told us what they were because I was worried we wouldn't know. Okay, we have a three-way tie on the costume contest. Are you ready? Drum roll. 
Okay, we have Emily Marks as Captain Hook and Crocodile. Nice. <laughs> yes, Emily. We have Selena Sambar as that fly on Mike Pence's head. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah baby. And finally, we have uh, Danica Noel as Bob Ross. Yeah. Oh. Happy trees, happy trees. Oh, honorable mention goes to Kimberly Taylor's Frog Dog. I like that. I like it. I'll tell you what, Kimberly, you'll get a link to the live stream anyway. <coughs> I mean, to the after party. Sorry. You're at the live stream. <laughs> yes, guys. Joe, when you sit there, you're completely blocked by me. I just want you to know. You can sit there, but you're not. You're no longer in the show. <laughs> They already, they can hear you. They know no, you're there. They know. By the fatness of your base. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh connection very briefly but if we did it should be back by now blacked out for a moment but uh, we all, we're all good oh guys gosh exciting stuff we have one more song for you and it's a doozy um i'd like to dedicate this next song to to tuesday i'd also like to say cheers to tuesday cheers mm. we'll find out we'll find out yeah. eventually <laughs> in january <laughs> we might 
Um, uh, thanks again for listening, you guys. That's Cat Catrick Firth uh, on the keys. We have Skunk Pl Bonds Plowman. Um, <laughs> what's the full name? Oh, yeah. Skunk Baxter uh, Bonds Plowman. Vanta Black Bonds Plowman. Yeah. And um, yeah. and this is <laughs> this is what we've decided to leave you with today. I hope you really enjoy it. <clears throat> I said I wouldn't talk about politics, but I didn't say I wouldn't sing about them. Party on election night, all of us feel fine Talking shit on Donald Trump, drinking shitty wine Polls are looking pretty good, we're all 538 None of us loves Hillary, but at least she isn't Satan I wrote this four years ago, by the way But we got scared as it got later There's people voting for that hater I can't wait to laugh about this in the morning light when all the wine is drunk Florida goes for Donald Trump We're all fucked Let's all fuck Where are you staying tonight? Fuck him and his fascist ray Nazis in the USA Fuck them and the KKK AKA all right We're all fucked And that ain't great Let's make love instead of hate We're all fucked Let's all fuck Where are you staying tonight? <laughs> we woke up in a brave new we ought to organize I'll go make a sign I've got a liberal arts degree I'm not the type to riot But if he's really serious I guess we, we ought to try it, it. Fuck him and his fascist prey Nazis in the USA Fuck them and the KKK AKA alright We're all fucked and that ain't great So let's make love instead of hate We're all fucked, let's all fuck Where are you staying tonight? We're all fucked, so let's all fuck But then let's riot in the streets Cause this is worse than nasty tweets Looks a lot like Germany Back in 1933 We know enough from history To stand up to this chump Fuck you Donald Trump